Oh, I have to follow Paul McWhorter's uh, Raspberry Pi and his 3D printing Fusion 360 lessons online. And I usually uh, take this time to do homework videos for him, but he didn't give us any homework this week. So I figured I'd um, slip in a, a video or two on my uh, laser cutter engraver, my Creality Falcon 10 watt laser that I got a couple months ago. We've been using it off and on, uh, mainly doing like letter cutouts and ornaments and other little trinkets and stuff. But I've often seen other people do uh, finger joint boxes with it. And I said, oh, it'd be kind of cool to do that. And, uh, you know, no Fusion 360. So I said, I could probably do it there. And then Lightburn also has drawing ability. So I said, well, could do it in Lightburn. So decided to go out and check out what other people, how other people uh, create these boxes and uh, see what the, how things were with them. I'm certainly glad I did because uh, uh, first couple uh, videos I watched, were, both of them were talking about this uh, website called Boxes PY. And uh, it's actually a uh, customized, you can create customizable boxes and it automatically does the drawings for you and spits out boxes and other things as well you can see boxes boxes with the flexing in them i haven't tried any of them yet um you can do trays and shelves and stuff for hanging on the wall and all kinds of other stuff but uh i got into the boxes today and uh not only do you can do a simple box but you can do all kinds of different boxes here and uh, uh so i just did this uh regular simple box here and Figured I'd show off what it did. Actually, I got it right here. You can see it. And the one I made, I just, I didn't want to waste too much material. So I just made it like, I think it's a, oh, I don't know, 50 millimeters by 30 millimeters or something like that. And uh, just an open box and got finger joints that hold the bottom in and everything. And this one didn't even glue together. And it's, I really can't even pull it apart. I had to, tap it with a small hammer to get these to go in. I mean, they fit fine, but just a, a perfect fit, actually. And that was amazing first try. So uh, not often you get that the first try. So I'll have to try some bigger boxes and maybe put some engraving on the sides and stuff like that on them. So looking forward to doing that. Um, but it's really simple. You just go in here. We'll uh, go in and it's just like a, form you fill out with the different settings and everything you can change the joint settings but i just left them at default and uh, i said the default would be a good one for the first one you just give it your size uh, x and y and you know i guess that's width and width and length i guess is what we would call it and then the height and then uh we'll, we'll make this one like I don't know. Maybe we'll just make it a hundred millimeters tall. We'll make a open box, but we'll leave it. This is about four inches by four inches here in America. Um, one of the things they said was important is to make sure you measure the thickness of your plywood because that, that important as to how your finger joints work out. So I went out and measured mine, and it was about 130 thousandths. So I did the conversion. It's about 3.3 millimeters. Uh, you got different outputs, uh, but uh, we want SG, SVG, and uh, it could use some the DXF as well, the light burn software. You can import DXF as well. So um, uh, this reference, we don't need that. So we'll make that zero. And then we'll talk about this loop setting here for the corner. That's kind of cool. And this burn is basically what your curve should be. And I found that mine 0.06 was best for mine. So nice tight fit. And then all you got to do, that's all you really need to fill out for this simple box and just generate it. And you get these drawings. This is the bottom with the tabs that go in. You know. 
this is a much bigger box that I drew, so it's got more finger joints. And then you just got two pairs of these, one one with the mirror image of the other so that they notch together, the fingers join together. And uh, once you get that, you just uh, right click and save as, and it's gonna save it as a SGV. So, uh, <clears throat> We'll call this a box two and it's going to save it in my clip art folder. So I'll just hit save. All right. And now we'll skip on over to the light burn software and start a new one. Let's see the old one. So first thing we're going to do is a uh, file and import. And what we're going to import is my a box two, sorry about that. Open it up. And that's all we need for our uh, boxes. And say they, uh, for some reason it brings in the holes as a different color, but we wanna cut them. So we're just gonna highlight this and change those to black and uh, Normally it changes for me. I'm not sure why it didn't do that. Anyhow, we just need to make sure that they're black lines as well cut because uh, we could go in and change them, but that's all right. And um, that's all you do and you cut it out and you got the box when you're done. Um, you can design any size box in a matter of minutes and get it done. Anyhow, that's what I got for this video, uh, making boxes today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.